Oh, beautiful Northern King. So in this video, guys, I'm gonna show you five easy steps to increase your chances of catching fish off the surf in the summertime. The easiest fish off the Jersey Shore in the summertime, which are kingfish, spot, and dogfish. Step one, the gear I recommend to use. I recommend a rod that ranges from about seven to 10 feet long and is rated to cast up to three ounces of weight. Um, make sure that you can cast that much because sometimes the surf gets a little rough and you need to cast a little more. This one I think is rated for a half ounce to three ounces of weight. And um, now let's talk about the reel. Uh, I recommend a size 4,000 reel. This one does not have the markings on it. I do not know why. But I recommend a size 4,000. 3,000 3, to 4,000 size reel. Lined with 20 pound to 25 pound line. I use braided because I think it helps cast a little farther. But you can also use monofilament line. Um, but that's basically the gear. Step 2. The rigs I use. Okay guys, so now we're on to the rigs to use. These are my two favorite for um, for kingfish and spot and dogfish, the little fish off the surf. One of them has the floats with the J hooks that look like a J, of course. And then these are the circle hooks that move more in a circle. They both have floats. Two rig the two hooks, you may be confused with that. They're called a high-low rig. The high-low really helps with uh, fishing different water depths. And um, so this is the rig right here. It is um, tangled right now, but there we go. So this is the part where you attach to your main line. It's a little barrel swivel. And then um, here's the two hooks, just like this, coming out the edges. And um, basically they're gonna sit just like that, like floating around. So these are the two, that's what high-low means, basically. One rig high, one rig low. Okay guys, so um, a lot of these rigs are gonna have this big loop at the bottom, just like that. It's made to uh, attach the weight and what will keep your bait in one spot. So basically you want to take that loop, pull it to a little pinch like that and uh, put it through the eye, this little ring on the top of your weight. Put it right through like that and then pull, pull it through. What you're going to want to do, wrap it all the way around your weight just like that and then pull and that weight is secured that's how you attach your weight pretty easy step but some people don't know how to do it step three the bait i recommend to use okay guys now we're going to talk about the baits you need um right here we have blood worms you can see them at the bottom of the bag these are very expensive bait um like over one dollar a worm most of the time but they do catch fish i don't really know of any fish that doesn't like blood worms if you have the money to spend on these, I definitely recommend getting a couple. Um, they Every fish loves a blood worm, and especially these three fish that I spoke of earlier in the video off the surf, all love blood worms. And um, the only downside is that they're very expensive. But another bait that's a little more middle of the road um, is these fish bites. They also work very well. And um, here's what they look like. They come in different colors. These ones happen to be green. But um, basically what they are is an alternative to the, uh, they basically are an alternative to uh, blood worms. And they don't, they don't catch fish just quite as well. But if you're trying to save a little bit of bait with the blood worms, you can always put these on one of your hooks and blood worms on another one. That's what we usually do. Or you can just put these on both. They catch fish and they're great for the three species that live out on the surf in the summertime. And then the final bait is free which is probably the best bait is the sand fleas there are some bait shops that sell them but the easiest way to get them is go on a surf go about ankle deep and dig through the sand and you should be able to find these little small crabs with a hard shell and those are probably the best bait because that's what the fish are normally eating and also they're free which saves you a lot of money i'm gonna go get ashley and then we're gonna um, go to the beach and rig them up see you guys there So I'm going to be showing you guys how to catch free bait in the ocean. They are called sand fleas. So you are going to want to go right above your ankles and like right below your knees. If 
if you find um, a place with lots of shells like this, if you can here, let me see. If you can see with like lots of different shells, that's perfect. So what you're gonna wanna do is dig your hand into the sand. Dig your hand into the sand and feel for a hard like shell. And you should be able to find a sand flea. Now this is a free ocean bait that you can use. They're really easy to find and they're pretty good bait since they're natural. All of these sand fleas took me about 30 seconds to catch. They're super easy and good bait to use. Step four, how to rig up your bait onto your hook. How to bait up a sand fly. Why'd you? I just have to see it better. All right. You don't need to hit a button, it's already on. Okay. Okay guys, so you have a hook like this. Look, he's moving like that, that's good. I, the antenna sides here, I go right through the back. Not the antenna side, and just pop it through. There you go, you have a little bait, free bait, and kingfish, and every fish basically eats this because they eat it naturally. This one has a little fish bite on it. Just cut them into little pieces. They come in this long strip, but you just hook it through twice like that on small little pieces. Okay guys, now we're gonna bait up a bloodworm. This is a small, you don't need a big piece. Just put it on, just like a sock, all the way up like this. And then at the very end, you'll have this little bit of tag. Wrap that around and push it back through the hook point again. That keeps it on there a little better and it should look just like that. That, I believe, is the best kingfish bait of these bloodworms. Very expensive. You don't need to use the whole thing, just use that little piece. It's perfect. Best kingfish bait out there. Step five location of where you're going to fish and where you're going to cast. It's pretty calm today. Um, we actually have a rock jetty you guys can't see, but we know it's there because um, we fished a spot before. And structure in the beach is super important right now. Show the beach. See how the waves are just rolling into us? If you can find any spots in the ocean where the waves look a little weird or they break, then stop, then break, that can be a deep hole and I recommend fishing. And um, basically with kingfish, they're not very far out, so you don't have to launch it very far. You just have to give it a solid loft. I go about ankle deep, give it a solid loft out there. And the kingfish, that's usually right in their zone. You don't need to cast far, you don't need to walk out up to your chest. Just cast right out, and they're usually some kingfish. So. Overcast day on the beach, that helps a little bit because there's not as many people swimming. Even though like it's not a swimming area, there are still people that don't get with them. I just put a solid ball from the past and I'm plenty deep enough for some fish. If you're gonna put this in the rod hole, this is Ashley's rod. We're gonna see how long it takes for her to get a fish. I think she has a fish. And then there was a couple hits. You feel a little, the rod's tapping a tad. I just have a fish. Oh, baby. Not on the, a spot. Wow, and our sand flea's gone. Our other rod's getting a hit now too, actually. So here's a spot. This is another fish you'll catch on the beaches every now and then. So is that your first ever spot? Yeah, I think okay. so. Okay. Here, hold that up. There we go, guys. Ashley spot. All right, that's a fish off the beach on the fish bite. Can you at least throw them back? Okay, I'll hold the rod. So, I don't like throwing them. All right, guys, this is Ashley's spot. Tell has a big spot on them. That's what they look like, a beautiful fish. But we're gonna just toss them back. Our other rod's getting a hit. Another spot bite, it seems like, too. That uh, thing was tapping, but not very rapidly. Ooh, that's my turn. He's been hitting there for a while. Look at the rod. 
mods. Oh yes, that guy's, yeah, look at that hit, guys. I don't know. He was hitting on there for a while. So this is a bloodworm rig. Oh yeah. Oh, a beautiful Northern King. Look how pretty he is. I got a picture, look at that guys. We knew we had a kingfish. This is what you can catch. This is a Northern King. See it has that sh these uh, stripes on him? The stripes help you identify. Just put it, hold it and videotape my kingfish. Here. Take it off. Hey guys, it's a Northern King. You can tell because it has that long, all these dark markings on it. This is probably the prettiest kingfish I've ever seen. So I'm going to um, actually get a picture of this and then release it. So, these also make great shark bait. I've had some shark, caught some sharks on this thing and some, uh, some cow nose rays and stingrays too, so. This is a beautiful, they also have this long like dorsal thing. But I used to tell them these stripes. Then they're not usually this potent, like usually a little less faded, but we'll try to get a southern and show you guys. Beautiful. Like that's not sand. I'm wiping that off. That's not sand. That's a stripe. That's a beautiful kingfish. Also great eating. These are northern kingfish. And then the southern ones are also known as whiting. A lot of places around the world. So look at that. Oh yeah, there he goes. Ashley is telling me a huge bite just went down. So we're gonna see, you feel anything? Actually, yeah. Got some weeds out here, it's a little bit of annoyance, but shouldn't be a big deal. You feel them? Yeah. I see them, I see them. Shows king fishing isn't very hard. <laughs> Another spot. Another spot. <laughs> Fish bites are hitting them today, guys. Some days it's bloods, some days it's sand fleas. Today seems to be a fish bite kind of day, which is good because we're getting a little low on blood worms. So yeah. here, record this. Do you want a picture with your spot? It's all right. Ashley's spot. Beautiful. Oh, we already got one of them. Yep. But it seems to be a good amount of them uh, around the jetties we find. So. Wait. Here, Dom, I'll get the release. Bonus stuff. Here, I just Today, the spotlight also shows that, like the fish bite. The spot are out there. Catch spot too. They're just as fun. So the kingfish are just a little um, better to eat. Just like that, guys. It's the biggest spot of the day too. Hitting. Set the hook. Oh, I, I said that. Oh, 
Oh, you don't think you got him? All right, I don't think she has him. She doesn't really think she has him, but what's well, a serious hit, so we always got to check. So many fish out here today, it's crazy. You do? She has confirmed she has a fish, so we'll see. Is she trustworthy to believe? I think you got a spot. Oh, really? Yeah, I think yeah, you got one. Wow, it's a spot. Oh, that's, that's a shocker. The wrong way. Spots are the dumbest fish. Okay. <laughs> That's why they're, that's why you take them off like a blue fish, because they are like, like... Here we go, that's a spot. You can tell they're a spot because of a spot. Yeah, that, that's, that's usually a good way. 